Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping to another session of Epic 7. Now today, got some more RTA for you guys. And hopefully, we're going to be winning a few matches here and there and not be uh, completely tilted like we were in the last video. Uh, <laughs> so, if you're interested in seeing that episode and you haven't seen it yet, do go check it out. It was probably quite entertaining if you weren't me. <laughs> Alright, the cues are, wow, the cues are actually taking quite a bit. Oh, there we go. You just have to complain about it and things will change for you. Okay, so what are we doing here? I've been actually playing in my own time. You probably couldn't tell because my rank hasn't changed and my point values haven't changed. I keep winning and losing, losing more than winning. Uh, so, yeah. Here we are though. Uh, testing out Aeola and Politus pre-bans, I stopped banning Bellion because I figured, hey, if everyone's gonna be cleaving, why am I banning Bellion for them? So, let's see, Hua Young picked is Sid is banned, so let's go for Roz, just to start things off. And this guy seems like he could be cleaving, maybe? But banning a speed imprint is kind of weird. Hua Young banned, um, alright, oh, okay standard player, maybe, or an aggressive player. So we have Dien being picked out early. Who is going to be the next pick? Uh, Dien's a very safe first pick because, you know, Aeola is pre-banned. Ooh! Lionheart Sermia. Huh. Lionheart Sermia. Very early Lionheart Sermia pick, but... It actually does discourage me from going for something like Alencia here, which I guess works in his favor. I mean, there's no counterattacks that I can use here as well. Huh. And most of the units I've actually been running lately are counter-type units. Interesting, interesting. Do I just have to ban the Lionheart Sermia? Or, you know, let's go for a Spectre Tenebria. I mean, that's always fine, right? We'll go with Spectre Tenebria and let's go with uh, let's go with a Soul Weaver. Let's go with Amelia. So let's go for this, right? Pretty neutral picks. We can work around the Lionheart Sermia for now. We'll see what comes down here. Bellion is kind of expected because I picked Spectre so early. So Bellion might be the the ban here. Maybe, we'll see. If he picks a bunch of other stuff that is not too threatening, we could maybe ban the Lionheart, and we can pick some units that can follow up attack and stuff of that nature. Right, Ilanov would be very strange in this situation. Alright, Sea Lilius. Dien, Sea Lilius, Bellion. This is a disgustingly tanky team, by the way. It is very, very nasty. Uh, do we go for a Dilibet? Maybe. I think Dilibet's pretty good here. I would say so, at least. And what? Do we go for Straze? Do we go with Dilibet? Straze? Actually, as of recording this video, I don't know if the buffs went live yet. Oh no, I think the buffs have went live. Yeah, let's go with uh, Dilibet, and let's go with Straze, probably. Alright, let's go with that. Yeah, I think I think Straze is a pretty good option here. We can strip buffs and things like that. Yeah, we just ban whatever the last pick is. It doesn't really matter. And I think we're good. Ooh, Dilibet being banned. Uh-oh. Uh, let's put Straze in the back, just to protect him. I feel like Amelia will die to AoEs anyway, so let's see what happens. How fast is this? Okay, see Lilius is there. Going for the Vigor buff. Uh, hopefully Amelia has enough resist. This is not a... yeah, it's not a particularly high effectiveness see Lilius, it doesn't seem like, with 18k HP. Now I hope he doesn't dual attack and just kill the Straza here, that would be... That would be kind of ridiculous, but hey, worse things have happened, right? 
Okay, trying to provoke the Amelia, not gonna work there. Uh, if he goes for the S2, that's fine. Alright, he's gonna go for the S3, which is also fine. I think we just, we send it, right? I think we put Straze through. We just push Straze up, and I don't think I S2 here. I think it's too risky to S2. I think I just go for an S3. Or do I S2? Nah, let's just send it, right? We'll, we'll be invincible, so we'll be fine. I'd rather Straze live, so let's go for this. No counterattacks possible. Oh, nice, and we hit that Bellion. Very, very good. Let's go for a defense buff here. Now, Dien will be able to lap. Yep, there we go. And push up the Lionheart. But the thing is, Lionheart doesn't have her stacks. We're not dual attacking here. So we're in a pretty good position. Alright, Lionheart gets to go. Uh, I am going to use Stene, and we're going to try to stun. Should we try to stun the Lionheart? Or should we stun the Sea Lilius? Let's go ahead and stun the Seed Lilius. I don't want her to bring the Lionheart for a dual attack, and I also don't want to bring Dien for the dual attack, because she can push, right? So let's go for that. Uh, the other reason is because we have attack down anyway, so we're probably not going to be dealing a lot of damage to Lionheart. So it's better to just stop the support unit from doing something this turn. So we can strip everything with Straze's S2. There we go, very nice. Uh, I'm going to go for an S1 on Lionheart. No strip, but that's alright. Straze has a defense buff still. If he goes for the Straze, uh, we should be able to get an Aeroz shield. Okay, there we go. Aeroz barrier. Uh, Lionheart does have an S3, though. Gotta be a bit careful. Okay, that's a bit of damage. Gets another turn, probably hits Straze again. Oh, okay, going for the Raz. Alright, let's go ahead and push up the Stene this time. Attack buff Stene is going to be quite good, but I am going to go for the C. Lilius to finish her off. She's going to be quite annoying. And now, Dian has one turn on her anti-crit buff. Yeah, so she can't be doing anything this turn. We get free hits onto this Lionheart Sermia now. Quite nice. I don't think I want to do a dual attack, so let's not strip the speed buff. And Dian can either S2 or S3. So S3 for the anti-crit buff and attack buff yet again. Not too bad, but the thing is, Lionheart Sermia without a defense buff actually doesn't do too much damage, right? As long as we don't accidentally dual attack, uh, we'll be fine. I believe Lionheart's, yeah, Lionheart's Soulburn is more damage. Okay. So let's go for the Lionheart here. He's gonna go for the barrier, push up the Lionheart, but hopefully... Hopefully, uh, we can strip something. Okay, good. We strip the attack buff. Uh, I want... Oh, Amelia does have an S2. Good, good. Amelia has an S2. So we can hit here. Oh, that is not good. See, so the accidental dual attack. And now we might be screwed. We might be screwed here. So, Straze, Straze. We need Straze. Push Straze up. Okay, and what I'm going to do is Soul Burn. Oh no, I don't need a Soul Burn S3. I have an S, uh, S2. I have an S3 the next turn, so I should be fine. There we go. Strip off some of the stuff. The thing is, I didn't strip the defense buff, so I think we're in trouble. It's going to be a lot of damage. Oh, ho, 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 wow. That is a lot of damage. Okay, that was a ton of damage, and now I might be a little screwed. Oh no. Okay, no dual attack, thankfully. Let's go ahead and soul burn here for an extra turn. And let's send an S3. This should finish things off. Oh boy! That accidental dual attack almost cost me the entire match. That's always, right? Dual attacks coming in when I don't need it, I get one. 
And it wasn't even a good one either. <laughs> it wasn't like that was game changing damage. Uh, whew. All right. I will take that. We barely made it. Lifesteal Stene pulling through yet again. All right, let's continue banning these two. Life is so much better when Aeola's not around. Belly and Band as well. Thank you. Uh, Som Somak. Somak. All right, see Lilius being picked out. Uh, let's go for no Aeola or Politis. I mean, I could go for Dien, Dilibet, right? Let's go for Dien, and uh, let's go for. Actually, we don't need Dilibet right now. We can save Dilibet. Let's go. Let's pick the Aeros. Let's pick the generic stuff. I doubt my opponent's gonna pick Dilibet into these two units right here. Okay, Aravi picked out. ML Calric picked out. Sure, going for a cleanser of his own. Uh, let's go for Dilibet here, though. Would be good utility for me. And against this team, I kind of want to go Alencia. That's going to be a lot of pressure on my Alencia, but I think we go Alencia here. Alright, this would... Yeah, Alencia is pretty good. We can strip the buffs, we can punish the Aravi. Guayam being picked out is perfectly fine. We can deal with that, because he has to pick his last unit here. So we can ban, yeah, so we can ban the Hua Young and essentially deal with a Ravi. Amelia being picked out, huh? Hmm. How do I deal with a Ravi here? Who can I use to deal with a Ravi? Probably an LQC, right? Yeah, let's, let's just throw LQC into the mix and hope that all goes well. Let's ban the Hua Young, because he can only focus either Alencia or LQC. Let's go for this. Alright, LQC is banned. Perfect. We get the rest of our draft through. I think we protect... I think we protect Alencia. I feel like she's going to be receiving a ton of damage. So that's the one that we need to focus on protecting. In, in a lot of these fights, they focus down Alencia way too early for me. And because she goes down, I don't have enough pressure uh, to keep up damage. I lose my tempo. Okay, see, Lily should probably... She probably shouldn't S3, but I feel like they will. Yeah, see? They, they are gonna S3. And Dien, 15 percented, maybe. Oh, he's going for Dilibet. Interesting. Well, Dilibet's going to be able to cut here. Well, if we cut, you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's just go ahead and cleanse. Dil um, see, Lilius was the only debuffer. ML Calyrex S2 exists, but we're not too worried about that, because we have Dien. Uh, let's go for anti-crit buff on the rest of the team. I know he can strip off of the Alencia or whatever, but... This is uh, gonna be quite good. Do we reset anything actually? Do we reset the ammo Calric? Okay, that's nice. What else do we reset? We reset the A Ravi as well. Great. So because we reset those units, let me just go ahead and defense buff the team. So we take less damage as A Ravi is about to go. She's on proof of valor though. Ooh, a little spooky. He's gonna S1 the Aeroz. Uh, she'll probably hit the Alencia. Oh no! Just going straight for Aeroz. Alright. Then she's on proof of valor, so we're gonna go for S1. No defense break. Ugh. Disgusting. But we do get some injury damage in. I'm gonna save my barrier cleanse for when ML Calric goes for his S2. Amelia is going to push up a Ravi with an attack buff this time. I wonder who he's going to focus. We have defense buff, we have, uh, you know, crit re uh, resist, that doesn't work. Alright, not too shabby. Do we go for this? I think so. Let's go for this here, because Amelia used both of her cleanses. Right, he silenced the a Ravi. ML Kaura can S3, though. Or he can S2 the Alencia. He's going to S2 the a Raz. Okay. He's just really focusing down the Aeroz. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Amelia can't do anything, because she's on cooldown. So I guess we'll use... I'll just use... Uh... No, we'll just dump damage into this, right? Dump damage into this uh, Aeroz. No reason not to. 
If I can get a defense break with Alencia here, this is going to be huge, right? We can really uh, hinder. We can really hinder this A. Robbie's damage by pumping Alencia's injury into her. There you go. So half of A. Robbie's HP got so 12k HP A. Robbie, and she has essentially no damage, hardly breaking the barrier there. Okay, we're just going to hit the C. Lilius. I think we're in a good position. Putting Alencia back here forced him to go for A-Roz first, because if he procs Alencia's barrier, uh, the barrier on A-Roz on Alencia, uh, he would not have been in a good position, because A-Ravi does not have enough damage as a solo unit like this, doesn't have enough damage, right? Okay, so he's going for the A-Roz provoke. That's fine. We got a nice dual attack there, nothing game-changing, because the objective is to get rid of a Ravi. If I get rid of a, Ra a Ravi, I essentially win, right? So that's the goal. Uh, he can slam S3 into a Raz. Oh no, he's gonna soul burn S1. Okay. Oh, that's a good, good chunk of damage. Hey, that's not negligible, right? That's a good chunk of damage. But so was that from Dilavet. And I think Alencia's next turn is probably gonna be it. Yeah, you can try to heal and sustain, but a Ravi at that low of a uh, HP is not really going to do too well. Let's heal the a Raz, put back the anti crit buff. And again, we're just going to focus down this, uh, this a Ravi. I'm going to go and actually strip the buffs here. There we go. Very nice. So now, his team is quite vulnerable, I know he has, uh... Oh, see, Lily Effect doesn't have her S3. Okay. And, let's go ahead and heal Aeroz, push him up, push Alencia up as well. There we go. Kalrik's gonna get pushed up, but if we get Defense Break here, I think we got it. Oh, okay, there we go. Got the Aeroz down, and it's pretty much over. So, with a solo DPS like that, because they pick so many support units, uh, I was able to abuse that and go for go for strong counter picks right injury alencia into a, a ravi is really really strong but you have to have the team that protects the alencia in order for it to get to turn um meanwhile on my opponent's side they really needed more than just a ravi and hua young as a hyper carry dps because my team was quite versatile was counter picking into him right even my support units were counter picks a raz and dn hard counter a Ravi as a solo DPS because she cannot keep up with the amount of heals uh, that Dien has, can't push through the defense buff, uh, is too RNG into 50-50 crit, right, from anti-crit, uh, and the barrier prevents her from actually loading injury onto uh, my Alencia as well. Okay, we're gonna go for A-Roz, because Cilalis and Ron are banned. With Politis and Aeola, I'm feeling this person's probably not cleaving. Alright, Dien's being picked out which is a typical response into an A-Roz pick, and if they're going standard, or they're going aggro. Mm -hmm. Alright, Hua Yang being picked out, okay, so now I get to decide how I want to play this. Do we go aggressive, or do we play a bit more passively? With Hua Yang pick though, I feel like I have to go aggressive, so let's go Amelia. I think we go Amelia, and then let's go for Operator Sigrid, yeah? Operator cigarettes pretty good here. We can also have another target for Amelia to push, something that's uh, safely tucked away. Spectre Tenebria comes to mind. We can always just ban the Hua Young as well. We don't actually have to fight her. Opsig makes it feel like we're committing. But Opsig could just be a uh, unit we use against Dien's barriers. Because we are on Guiding Lights, so we're, we're pretty safe. Ooh, Flitica picked out though. Sid being picked out. Ooh, my opponent's going aggressive. Speed imprints and everything. Okay. Well, the thing is, Opsig is Guiding Light. So he can't hit my Opsig unless he uses Flitica. So we can ban Flitica. And I think we'll be fine. So how do I fight Hua Young and Sid? How do I fight Hua Young and Sid? Do we go Rimuru here? Ooh, maybe. 
Maybe Rimuru is a nice pick, right? Yeah, let's go Rimuru. We're gonna switch up to like an anti-cleave sort of thing. Hmm. Do we go Kron actually? Yeah, let's go Kron here. Why not? We could always ban DN, right? We could always ban DN. Let's use buffed Kron. Let's see how he performs. Kron seems to be pretty decent into this. We're gonna ban Flitica. I just want to use counter Kron, so <laughs> hey, why not, right? Why not? Let's go for it. A Ravi. Okay, let's ban the Flitica. I think we're okay. Rimuru is getting banned out here, that is fine. I don't think Kron needs a barrier. Uh, yeah, he does have AoE, so he can't hit the Opsig. I think we might be okay. Let's protect Amelia, because we're gonna need her. Alright, so my units should be pretty good. Ooh, that's not even a really fast Sid. So Amelia is gonna go unless he goes for a Barry on DN, but here's the thing. Opsig, Opsig now has free reign. If Sid goes for Amelia, I don't think he kills, and we get a big barrier from Aeroz. So who's he going for? Okay. Oh, that is actually a lot of. That's actually a lot of damage. <laughs> he might go for Amelia, but Huayang gets a 30% damage reduction against uh, ice units. So. Hopefully. Hopefully we're fine. He goes for a Roz. Okay. Not finished off. So that's pretty good for me. Uh, we're going to boost up the Opsig with an attack buff. Alright, and I will go for a snipe down on this a Ravi. It's not a proof of valor, so we should be able to finish her off. There we go. And let's go for an S3. Hopefully we proc Guiding Light. Push back everyone because everyone has a barrier here and we ignore effect res. Nice, finish off the Sid. Let us go for an S2 on this Hua Young. Alright, nice job, Kron, and we get a Dust Devil proc too! Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Kron, if he goes for a, a dual attack, well, single target attack, right? But if he procs Dust Devil, it becomes an AoE. Nice! I was not expecting that. That's really cool! The more you learn, the more you learn. Kron's now a viable target to, to dual attack with. Uh, for A-Ra, Seed Lilius, or whatever, right? If you can somehow, in a anti-cleave team, kind of pull off a Kron, that's nice. But Opsig, MVP right there. Definitely MVP. Alright, we're going up against the guy in a guild called Aether Cult, so that is definitely a thing that exists in this game. Dilibet and Paraband, ooh, is this guy cleaving? Probably. Dilibet ban usually means the cleaver, and I helped him out by banning Politis and Aeola. Para's banned, so he might go for Ron. Huh. What do I go for? I can't even go for like a Dilibet pick. Let's go for Aeroz though. Let's go for this. Hua Young. Okay. Huayang will be interesting. Alright, C. Lilius makes a bit more sense. Ooh, C. Lilius and Sid. Uh, no Dilibet, but we can go DJB. Yeah, DJB works as a cleanser here. Uh, we could also go for... Hmm... Can we go Christy here? Do we go Christy or do we go something like Armin? I feel like we go Armin. It might be too early for Armin. T Surin? Let's go Sage Ball. Let's go Sage Ball. Yeah. Elfelt. Okay. Interesting. Uh, yeah, then I think I go... I go Kron and T-Surin here, for sure. 
Alright, let's go Kiron. And let's go T Surin. Yeah, I think we're okay. He's setting up for ML Pavel. Ida, huh? Ida, do we just ban the ML Pavel? Or do we ban the Ida? I think we ban the Ida, because Ida can uh, get rid of T Surin, right? Well, I guess so can ML Pavel. It's okay, I think we go for this. Man, ban DJB. Oh no, he's banning the, uh, banning the Sage Ball. Okay, sure. Alright, let's see how this Kron plays out then. Post buff Kron into this Cleave team. Uh, I don't have a ton of a, a resistance on him. He has a 170 resist, I think. So Sea Lilius can still debuff him. Uh, unless it's like, I don't know, a Sea Lilius with like 70 effectiveness. Oh, he's gonna go for a dual attack, not even uh, debuffing, just in case my DJB has a Turnus. Smart, very smart. But the problem now is that T Surin gets a free turn essentially, because Elfelt can't deal with her. He's going for DJB, no, he's going for Kron, talking my immortality. We're gonna counter attack, we get evasion too! Oh, look at that! That is huge damage coming out, and he is blind. He's gonna strip my Kron though. Okay, so this Elfelt does have effectiveness, so unfortunately, we get taken down, but <laughs> t Sir would have finished things off right away on her next turn. So I think Charon did pretty good, right? Not too bad. Awesome. Uh, let's do one more. We'll do one more. <laughs> we had a pretty good run so far. Uh, yeah, post buff Charon is quite nice. I don't, I don't even need uh, to, to run him with like Dominial for any cheese uh, cheese strats. I think something like this where you have so many anti-cleave threats, t Surin, Kron, Emo Ball, uh, that the opponent just has a hard time picking which unit to ban. So if you're not a fast player, uh, you know, it doesn't mean that you can't compete. You just gotta find the right units to build. Find your play style, find your place in the meta. So here we go. Uh, Belly and Band, C. Lilius Band. That's quite nice. We're just gonna continue picking A Roz. He's too valuable, right? If, if I put T Cern in the back of A Roz, if she gets hit with a single target attack early, A Roz's huge barrier makes it so that she's essentially invincible, uh, which is great. Huayang picked, DJB picked. Whoa! Was not expecting DJB to get picked with Huayang. That is, uh,. That's quite interesting, okay. I guess I'll take it, we'll fight that. We can fight a DJB, I think. What would I like to pick, though, into this? This is kind of a strange team. Hmm, kind of a strange team. Because he picked DJB so early, and I'm not even committing to any cleave or anything of this sort. Let's go aggressive, though. I'm gonna go Amelia, and I'm gonna go for a shoe. Yeah, let's go for shoe here. We're going for shoe because Hua Young exists, and also because DJB is quite squishy. So if we get lucky with shoe, we can probably wipe him out pretty early. No barriers on our team. Purposely did not pick a DN because DJB would essentially force my S2 to be null. I know Amelia's barrier exists on her S3, but it's much smaller than DN's. Alencia with DN, though, picked out as well. Ooh, spicy. So he's letting Shu go through. We could ban Alencia. And we just have to deal with Hua Young. So dealing with Hua Young, we could probably go with uh, Kisei. And... What else can we go for? We can go for Kisei, we can go for... Can we go for Landy? Stene. Stene is good. Yeah, Spectre Tenebria, why not, right? Would we go for Roy? We can actually, you know what? Let's go for this. It's post buff. Let's go Fire Ravi. <laughs> And then let's go... Yeah, then let's go Spectre Tenebria. Yeah, let's go Spectre. Uh-huh. Let's go for something like this. 
We can ban Hua Young and we can fight this, right? Alencia can't really hit Stene all too much, even though she counters Shu. If they ban the Fire Ravi, if they ban Stene, we still ban Hua Young because Ravi also is good into Alencia. Yeah, I think this is pretty nice. We got a nice little team on our hands. We also have buffs on our team. We have anti crit, attack buff, defense buff from Roz, a little bit of healing going on. Falconer Clurry picked out. Whoa, that is not what I expected. Uh, but let's go ahead and ban the Hua Young. He has to ban Fire Robbie now, I think. I, I think he just ran out of time and had to pick Falconer. Okay, A Roz is banned. Alright, so who's leading the charge? Let's put Stenny in front. She's stealth, right? <laughs> stealth unit in front. Okay, let's see how this plays out. Dien goes, okay. DJB is also quite fast, but that's okay. That's alright. If he goes for an S2 early to blind my team, uh, we can cleanse with Amelia. We don't have to worry about the barrier inversion. That's a, actually, that's a chunky DJB. 16k HP is quite a lot. He's gonna push up with DJB, though. Okay. So, Alencia gets to go alf after Falconer, so he gets to try to DPS down some unit. Gonna go for Shu, probably DPS down Shu right here, with an S1. And no damage mitigation, yeah, okay. And he's gonna go for an S2, finish Shu off. Oh no, not quite. Not quite, actually. Okay. Uh, do we go for... Oh no, he- wow, he's just gonna give up just like that! Okay, wow, I really wanted to use Fire Ravi, but alright then. Uh... <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it, no complaints. <laughs> alright, so, ending... Ending today's session at 3,000 points, we're climbing the ranks at 2,500. Will we make it to Emperor? No. No, we're not. We're not making it to Emperor. But you know what? I'm having quite a lot of fun with these buffed units, as you can see, 100% win rate Kron and Fire Ravi. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Epic 7 content, and leave a comment down below letting me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.